Um, well, I think first and foremost, uh, to me personally, um, the interest is understanding how a disease develops. And I think, for, particularly in the case of Alzheimer, we don't have any uh, curative treatment strategies uh, despite uh, research for over decades. So my motivation is to try and understand what are the underlying disease mechanisms because that information will be key to develop truly new therapeutic strategies in the future. So um, because we now know that there are certain risk mutations in the population that can increase your risk for Alzheimer's disease, we can use this knowledge to study what they do in the cells, what, what, changes, the, uh, what the changes do they um, induce in the cells. Because if we understand that, that would learn us about how they might contribute to the disease. So uh, my motivation is to understand how these pathogenic mutations uh, change brain cells. And uh, because that knowledge will be the basis for getting new targets for therapy. So uh, APOE has been known uh, for over uh, two decades to be the major risk gene for de developing uh, sporadic Alzheimer's disease. And APOE is an apolipoprotein. And so mutations in this gene, not surprisingly, will affect the lipid metabolism in cells. And because we can now generate human brain cell types from stem cells, we can actually study what this mutation does to the lipidome. And in my study particularly, we generated neurons, but also astrocytes and microglia. And we find that the same mutation uh, causes different effects on the lipidome of these individual brain cell types. So that is something we're trying to understand because obviously it's also important if you want to change what this mutation is doing, you have to be aware that if you induce an effect in one cell type, it might have a very different effect in an other brain cell type. So that's what we're trying to understand. Yeah, so what we find, and, and, and we and others have also shown that, is that in the glia, and particularly in the astrocytes, the APOE4 allele, so the risk mutation, causes an increase of neutral lipid accumulation. So they store more cholesterol and fatty acids and triacylglycerides. But when we looked in the neurons, we actually find that they have less of these storage lipids. So that was kind of a surprise. And then we were wondering, since it's an apolipoprotein that carries lipids from one cell type to the other, what effect it would have on transport between these different cell types. And it's known for its role to transport cholesterol from astrocytes to neurons, but uh, recently it has been suggested in mouse models that it can also transport lipids in the opposite direction. So this is something we wanted to uh, study in our IPC-derived brain cell types. And indeed, we find that APOE is also transporting lipids from neurons to glia and that this might be affected by this uh, risk uh, genotype. So um, we find that um, the neuronal pathology we still have to look into a bit further. So obviously we want to see whether if this transport is disturbed, whether it can affect neuronal pathology. It's known that an accumulation of particularly cholesterol in neurons can contribute to tau phosphorylation and to uh, A-beta processing. Um, so uh, we still have to uh, see whether this transport of cholesterol from neurons to glia can affect this accumulation and downstream pathology. This is something we're very much looking into. On the other side, on the glial side, we did some uh, experiments where we tried to see what is the effect of this loading with cholesterol in glia. And we find actually that they start to secrete IL-6, one of the um, uh, inflammatory uh, interleukins that is secreted by cells. And this response seems to be stronger in the APOE3, so the neutral variant, compared to the AD risk variant, APOE4. So this was kind of surprising. So maybe it's actually a kind of supportive mechanism that the cell needs to deal with these excess lipids, which the risk variant cannot do so well.